I bought the best fake sneakers in the world and they're right here. I mean, not right here, it's their box. But let me spoil you. This video is not sponsored, I bought both of these pairs with my money, so if the pairs are garbage, then I will say that they are garbage, but if they are cool, then I will say that they are cool. The fake sneakers nowadays, they're really scary, you know why? Because they're really well done. Ok, I already spoiled you enough, so let's just go to the video. Here are their boxes, and as you can see we have one... Uh, Louis Vuitton, but I will not show you which model is it, I'm hiding for a moment. So let's just start with this pair, the white box as you can see. So let me spoil you again, this is the Air Force One Low of White and this is the yellow colorway. So as you can see there's already one thing that is not great because I'm in Europe. I mean if you are from the USA that this thing is great to you because in the box tag as you can see there's the retail price and if you're in Europe then you shouldn't have this, but if you are in the USA then yeah you should. Both of these pairs are bought in China, in the best sneaker, let's say fake sneaker reseller let's just say. So as you can see the white box opens laterally, it doesn't open like uh, every single box, let's just say any regular Nike box. But this is a great detail because the real pair opens just like this. And as you can see in the interior we only have paper, but it's normal all pairs have paper, then we have the pair itself and then after the pair we have supplementary laces. So as you can see the pair is yellow, it has yellow laces and then it has some supplementary white laces so that's really great. And in the pair itself we have these filler things, just like in the original one. So that's why I say that fake sneakers are scary right now, they have all the details that the real sneakers have. And then even in the box we have the green sticker, so that's really scary, it's getting really really accurate. And the thing that we just talked about, the size tag on the box, it has no flaws, it's completely accurate. The size tag is the same, the serial number is the same, the photo is the same, it has every single detail that a real pair has. But there's one thing on the box that gives away that it is fake. On the bottom part of the box we have a sticker that's written all in Chinese and I don't understand anything. If you speak Chinese then comment down below what it means but I really don't know. And it's kinda scary, like all the writings in Chinese and everything, it's kinda scary. But that's not the point. Let's just go to the pair itself. Now the pair, as you can see the pair is orange or even yellow, what you prefer, but I say it is yellow. And it has some black stitching, as you can see there's the stitching. In the box there is even a paper all written in Chinese, like of course it is fake, you don't need to show me that. And an orange detail that is really important to have on Off-White. Then as you know every single Off-White has this detail that Virgil Abloh did, so on the outsole it's written air. So that's really important to have in every single Off-White. Then you know that another thing that is really important to have on an Off-White is the writings in the interior of the pair, so as you can see it's written Off-White for Nike and then Bevan and then 1982, so that's when Nike released the first pair of Air Forces 1. And then on the other foot we have again Off-White for Nike and then Oregon USA, so that's pretty much the same thing. Then going to the real interior of the pair you can see that there's a size tag that is pretty accurate. Not really, but I will explain it. And as you can see the QR code gets us to the Nike website, so that's pretty accurate. But there's one thing, there's a date in the size tag that is not accurate. So as you can see it's written 15th of November 2022 and it's written 10th of January of 2023. So that's the thing, that is not cool to have on this pair. I mean it's really great so that we know that it is a fake, but on a real one it shouldn't be like this because this pair was released in 2021. What do this date means? It actually means when was the pair fabricated, so when the pair was done, like in China and everything, when it was actually produced. So this one was produced between 2022 and 2023, so that's a real red flag, fortunately. So this pair shouldn't have this date because as I said, this pair, the original one, was released in 2021, but this one, of course not. This one I just bought from China, so that's it. And then the outsole is really great, it's orange and it has the Nike swoosh, Nike symbol and the off-white logo as well. And then for the rest of the pair, so we just stop talking about this one, we have a zip tag which is actually really famous 
because every single Nike Off-White has this detail, so that's pretty great. So now, let's just take a look of this pair on foot, I'll do the laces and show you everything. So as you can see, the pair is really slim, if you wear baggy pants, then it will hide the pair a little bit, but not if you wear the zip tag. So that's pretty much it for this pair, but let me just give you an advice, I don't know if it actually worked for the real one or not, I would actually recommend you go through the size or even half a size down, because the pair is going to be slim, if you like of course the loose laces. So now, let's just go to this big box right here, the Louis Vuitton. When we open the box, we can see that they are dusty bags, because it is a Louis Vuitton, of course it has dusty bags. Then we have the pair itself, so I bought the Louis Vuitton skates, and they are pretty great. This pair is black, white and grey, but there's a single thing that I don't know if this is actually accurate or not, if you have a LV then comment it down below, a real one of course. So here you can see that it is grey, but if we see like in real life, it actually looks a little bit brown, so I don't know if that's accurate or not, but if it is, then comment it down below, or even if it is not, comment it down below as well. As you can see, in the pair itself we have an insole, and to be honest, it's really thick, the outsole is really thick. And now, as I'm recording this, after the footage and everything, you can see that in the outsole, there is no L anymore. I just wore these shoes once, and it was actually to show you how it looks on foot, because you'll see later in this video. There's not the L anymore, I don't understand the quality, but the outsole itself is really thick. As you can see now on screen, under the outsole we have a Louis Vuitton pattern, that's pretty much it because we don't have a size tag in this pair, nothing, we just have a number on the tongue that I don't really understand what it means, if you know then again comment it down below, it would be a really great pleasure to hear from you. And then the pair itself, let's just go to the pair itself, the outsole is really nice, as you can see underneath the outsole we have Vuitton written, it's written Vuitton, not Louis Vuitton, but Vuitton. And there's a little flower, let's just say, a Louis Vuitton logo. And it's written made in Italy. When we know that this pair is not made in Italy, it was actually made in China, as I just said. This pair is really great, as you can see, the details are really well done. The material is actually really, really great. And on the tongue, as you can see, we have LV Vuitton. Underneath it, on the laces, we have Vuitton. Behind, you have a Louis Vuitton logo. And it's written Vuitton since 1854. So as you can see, in the box we have two types of paper, let's just say an horizontal one and a vertical one, and then I found that we have the receipts. The first thing that I noticed is that we have a book that's written in French, in English and in Chinese, that talks about the materials and everything, but that we don't care. Then we have a card, which I actually don't understand, because I think that they try to write in French, and I know how to speak French, but it's not great. Like. They didn't do a good job, let's just say. I mean, it's actually beautiful. If I want to have this in my wallet, then it's great. It's just a flake, let's just say, but it's fake, so I will not. And finally, we have a certificate of purchase, a receipt, let's just say. And that's the thing that I understand. Probably it's a Chinese receipt. It's written Hong Kong. And it's written that we bought this pair for 7,800 HKD, which I actually don't understand that I don't know where is it from, probably in China, but it actually give us 950 euros, that's pretty much the same for dollars, so that's not the real amount that I paid for these fakes, but I appreciate this receipt, I will use it, never, I will never use it yet. Do you remember the amount that I just told you, the 7800 dollars, I mean not dollars, HKD, so as you can see on this box and on every single box of any sneakers, we have a label tag and in this one we have a QR code as well so I tried to scan this QR code and as you can see it got us to Louis Vuitton from China I don't know where was it from I assume that it was Louis Vuitton from China and I tried to find this type of sneakers the LV skates and it actually says that it's going for 10,800 it's not going for 7,800. So even in China, you wouldn't be able to scam someone with the receipt that I just showed you. Because you'd have to spend 3,000 HKD more to buy the real pair, so you wouldn't be able to scam, I mean, not even people from China. And I believe that a lot of people that have this pair in China and everywhere in the world, they have fakes. 
I don't see a lot of people rocking a thousand dollar sneakers, but I see a lot of people wearing these, let's just say. So we know where you got them from, because I didn't pay near a thousand dollars for this pair. So let's just stop all the BS and let me show you how the pair looks on foot. So I just did the laces and as you can see the pair is really bulky. I mean I bought this true to size but I would actually recommend you go half a size down or even a full size down to get the best let's just say performance of this pair. Because it's really chunky and I have a lot of space in the pair inside of it so it's not that comfortable let's just say. But I believe that if you go half a size down or even a full size down then it would be really comfortable for you. So that was all for today's video. What do you think? Would you actually buy this type of fake sneakers or would you not? Comment it down below. I would love to know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, bro.